welcome back to my channel, Nurse Catherine here. For the next four weeks, I will be introducing a new series on musculoskeletal injuries and traumas. You can expect one new educational video a week on musculoskeletal injuries and traumas. But before I get started, do not forget to subscribe to my channel right now and give this video a big thumbs up. Other than that, let's get this video started. For the first week of this series, I will be teaching you the foundations of the musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is made up of joints, ligaments, tendons, bones, cartilage, vessels, nerves, and muscle. First, let's talk about bones and their supporting structures. Bones are made up of several different types of tissue. You will find cartilage, dense connective tissue, epithelial tissue, adipose tissue, and nervous tissue. But the two primary types of bone tissue are compact bone and cancellous bone. Compact bone is the strongest type of bone tissue. This type of bone tissue forms the shafts of long bones and the exterior covering of other bones. Cancellous bone, on the other hand, is located on the interior of the bone structure. This is found along stress lines and helps your bones resistance to stress without breaking. This is also the storage area for red bone marrow and is where your body creates blood cells in adults. Secondly, let's talk about joints, tendons, and ligaments. Joints can be broken down into three different types. The three types are synovial joints, cartilaginous joints, and fibrous joints. Now let's break it down even further. Some different types of synovial joints consist of the knees, elbows, and hips, which all have a fluid-filled synovial cavity. The sternum and vertebrae are considered cartilaginous joints. These have no synovial cavity and cartilage holds these joints together. Lastly, fibrous joints also have no synovial cavity and fibrous connective tissue holds these joints together. This type of joint can be found in the skull, tibia, and fibula. Third and finally, let's talk about blood and nerve supply as it relates to musculoskeletal traumas. What I want you to know for the next four weeks is that bone is highly vascular and it is highly innervated. Highly innervated means that bone can carry a pain sensation. This video is meant to give you a quick rundown on the foundations of the musculoskeletal system. Next week, I will be getting into the classifications of musculoskeletal injuries. Make sure to have your notes ready for next week's video as I will be teaching you 10 different classifications of musculoskeletal injuries. These are injuries that you will see as a bedside nurse, even in the outpatient world, and of course you will see and learn about these injuries in nursing school. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when the next video is posted. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great week and I will see you in Saturday's vlog styled video.